Worldwide Jets, worldwide mess. On the Breakfast Club. She's the coach of shit. It's time to set it off. Okay, before we get to Eddie Winslow, okay, Slovakia Prime Minister shot. Now this is, put your phone down. This is worldwide news, <laughs> no, y'all, no, okay? Means. Yes. It's not about the UK, so in the old Lord. Yeah, so Slovakia is prime minister. Okay, so yesterday it was like an assassination attempt, right? Mm -hmm. well, his name is Robert Fico, and we have the report. Tonight, the prime minister of Slovakia, Robert Fico, is in critical condition following a shocking assassination attempt early this morning. Mm. He collapses as bodyguards bundle him into the car. Security officials say he was shot five times at close range. The alleged shooter pinned down the suspect described by local media as a 71-year-old former security guard and activist. Fico's office says he's fighting for his life. The shooter's motive is unclear. Mm. How do you have that many bodyguards and he gets that close to you and shoots you five times? Crazy, right? Everybody is asking. According to my European Connect, he was shot five <laughs> times in the... Sorry, he's playing with you. He's playing with you like you don't have European connects. Yes, both of y'all are. I didn't even say it's, nothing. I'm on your okay. side. No, that little old Lord. As soon as I say <laughs> UK news, what? whatever. I said that all out? Yes. Yes. Oh. He <laughs> was shot in the abdomen, y'all, five times. And um, look, this is another thing, too. So the, de the, the deputy prime minister, which is like the vice president, mm -hmm. of, you know what I'm saying? Because the prime minister is like the president. Right. Right. He going to say, this is his dick words. He should have had just hilarious abs. What? Excuse me, don't play with me. Okay. He said, I guess at the end of the day, he has survived. Like he said it real nonchalant, I guess mm. at the end of the day, he has survived. So it's like, oh. okay, so there's speculation mm. also told to me by my um connect over there. Like people are saying like, whoa, we hope that it's not an alleged setup because what are you talking about? Yeah, that's you a, guess. That's you don't... A, that sound like you mad that the shooters didn't get the job yeah. done. Right? I, guess he, I guess he's going to survive. Right. Mm. And Should have hired better shooters. And then said it like that with that attitude, like, you know, mm. putting our... I guess he's going to survive. Oh, my God. Crazy. But, but, I mean... That's what I said in the beginning. No, you didn't. Oh, my God. That's right, you did, yeah. yeah. But also, you, you would think <laughs> that was pretty smart, too. You have an older gentleman walk up to him because he probably thought there's no way that an older gentleman exactly. would try to assassinate him. They ain't know. never mm -hmm. seen New Jack City, though. Clearly, New Jack City don't play over there because if not they saw New Slovakia. Jack City, they would know not to sleep on nobody, especially the elderly. That's how Nino Brown got taken out. Absolutely. I don't think they watch that. Well, they should. Slovakia. Maybe they should start watching stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But he did undergo surgery, and um, reporters said that, you know, it, it went well. He's still, he's in stable condition, but still very, very serious condition. Okay. So, yeah, we guess he's going to survive, too. All right? Whatever. Okay, now, in American news, Eddie Winslow what, is What's trendy. Eddie doing? <laughs> Family Matters is back in the news, but not because of Drake, all right? Eddie Winslow was trending on social media because Darius McCrary is his actual name, mm -hmm. um, who played Eddie Winslow in Family Matters, was featured in post by Sydney Starr, teasing her OnlyFans page. So the video show um, Eddie, uh, he, he was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my I'm God. Sorry, Keep describing sorry, it. This is sorry, good. Sorry. I wish y'all could see her face right now. So, so Eddie Winslow, Sydney Stark, go! Yeah, so Sydney was like dancing seductively on him and kissing Eddie and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And and the song that was playing in the back is When We by Tank. That, you know, he got the best love music, right? Okay. And, um, and then so she said, y'all want to see what happens next with me and Eddie Winslow? Subscribe to my OnlyFans right now. Good promo. Yeah, it is good promo. Did you um, subscribe? Did I subscribe? Mm -hmm. No. So, listen, <laughs> yo, I'm not into that. The main reason that this seemed to get a huge response is because back in 2021, rumors that Eddie and Sydney were dating circulated, and he was basically saying, like, they were friends. Like, he never confirmed that they were dating. Gotcha. But they, she was posting pictures with him, and, you mm -hmm. know, some of them were, like, you know, very engaging. Okay. And, um, and he was just like, yo, we friends. Like, I don't need, I don't need, y'all mind y'all business, right? But people are confused a little bit and just like questioning it because why would you deny the rumors of y'all dating only to participate in these kind of activities? Because Friends don't do, uh, you know, friendly, just a little bit more than friendly. Gotcha. Well, clearly they trying to get to the bag. And clearly it worked because if you're promoting your OnlyFans and now mm -hmm. people are talking about it and it went viral, I'm sure they made a couple of dollars yesterday. But my question is, will there be new footage of Eddie Winslow and Sydney Starr. As soon as it come across your timeline, let us know in just with the mess. It might come across yours first. Nope. So we'll see. <laughs> but yeah. 
Yeah, that is just for the mess. And listen, all right, since I got a minute left, mm -hmm. Charlotte, I will be there hey. tomorrow and Saturday. Let's I got go. two shows at the Charlotte Comedy Zone. Mm -hmm. and uh, Tomorrow on Friday, and then I have two on Saturday, y'all. And they are selling. So make sure you get your tickets. Also, I did want to know where to eat at, y'all. I did. I, I want to know. Charlemagne, um told me about a food truck no, that, that I can pull up truck. on. Yeah, that's fine, but I need to eat Friday and Saturday. I can't eat from a food truck two days in a row. Why? Um, so I'm try sorry. different things. Just, yeah, just different things. Oh, okay. Well, they got different stuff with the food truck. What was the name of the food truck? I forgot. Jasmine's. No, no, it wasn't. You said it was Jasmine's Cuisine Jasmine's something, something Cuisine. Like oh, yeah, 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 in Charlotte. Yeah. Yep, Jasmine's. Yep, yep, yep. Jasmine, yep. Yeah, Absolutely. you keep talking about the fried chicken and all that. And yes, that's I just why. Be look, oh, yeah, Jasmine food truck. I just be seeing the pictures on Instagram. It look amazing. Yeah, it, no, it does. It does. And Jasmine, he's been showing me for quite a while. So I would love to have some of your food, but also if y'all can drop some black owned restaurants that okay. I can go to, mm -hmm. me and my team, let me know. That would be greatly appreciated. Guys. I love Charlotte, man. Salute yeah. to 704. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. yep. All so right. get your tickets, y'all. My lad is Jess with The Mess. All right, up next, we got the People's Choice Mix. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.